I saw some men that had these these glass bottles with liquid inside them and then uh, the paper up top. Now I had never seen a, a, a cocktail bomb before, but that's what they had. And they threw it, they threw it right in the building, and boom, exploded in the flames. So when I saw that, I said, I'm going in there. And if you want to keep throwing bombs into these businesses, then you just got to do it with me in there. You got to kill me too. And we could see the smoke coming from further south. We were on 84th and Avalon, but the fires were further on down by 103rd. And you could see the smoke coming up. That's when I learned that when the smoke turns white, it means that uh, they're starting to put it out. I heard people talking about that. So later that afternoon, Miss Houston got us in her car and took us down there to see. And we could see the buildings burn, smoke, sludge, ashes, a lot of gray. And I remember Miss Houston saying, this is what happened when people ain't got nothing to lose. Mm -hmm. And then she heard she heard a sound, sounded like, sounded like firecrackers. She thought to herself, why is anybody shooting off firecrackers? And then her little one screamed, Mama, Mama, Bruce is not moving. She went out of the house, and her son was lying on his back, right, spread out on his back, and he wasn't, wasn't moving. And she started screaming. 